Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines. This is a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be looking at the question, what is vacuous truth? Or what makes something vacuously true? It's an interesting question. You might have seen these words before and not known what they mean. Here, we're going to explain it. So, first off, Imagine this. If I tell you that all of the knives in my pocket are sharp, is it possible that I'm telling the truth and that there are no knives in my pocket? And if I tell you that none of the strings in my pocket are longer than two inches, is it possible that I have nothing in my pocket? These are interesting questions, and they express a key difference between two different schools of categorical logic. So, according to Aristotle, so long as knives and strings are the kind of things that do exist, you must have at least one of them in your pocket to be telling the truth. But Aristotelian logic is not the only logic that we have access to. According to Boolean logic, even if you have nothing in your pocket, both of these statements are going to be true. They're just vacuously true. So, in fact, any statement, general statement about the things in your pocket, all of the rings in my pocket, all of the hands in my pocket, are vacuously true, so long as those items are not, in fact, in your pocket. So, I could say, all of the rings in my pocket are purple, and according to Boole, that will be true if I have a purple ring in my pocket, and it'll be vacuously true if I have nothing in my pocket. Okay? So, vacuous, if you're curious, means empty. A vacuum is an empty space trying to be filled. Therefore, a statement is vacuously true if and only if it predicates something of something that does not exist. So, all hobbits are red is vacuously true since hobbits don't exist. No African American kings of England are short is true because there aren't any African American kings of England. And all members of the null set, the empty set in set theory, a set that contains nothing, are members of themselves, because there aren't any members of the null set, so therefore they're going to satisfy any criterion we put on them. So, if you hear that something is vacuously true, that means that whatever the subject of the sentence is does not exist, so we can predicate anything of it. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.